Hey everyone, the Lazy Physio here. Uh, today we're here with another really exciting product review. Uh, we're going to be looking at the DX Racer Valkyrie Series Gaming Chair. And I'm really excited about this one. So, first thing we have to do, obviously, is put it together. So, we're going to assemble it, then we're going to take a look at it, and we're going to give it a really thorough review, looking primarily at the ergonomic value of this chair, and ultimately answering the question, is it worth the money? So, let's take a look. Today's product review might be delayed a little bit because this is a situation that I'm currently dealing with. A very lazy dog who will not let me actually build the chair. Thanks, Zoe! DX Racer Valkyrie Gaming Chair. As you can see, it is pretty darn cool looking. So, now the fun part. We're going to deep dive into the ergonomic advantage this chair has over other chairs, and again, dive into the actual question of, is this chair actually worth the price? So let's get to it. So the DX Racer Valkyrie retails at $379 at the time of this review. As always, this review will focus on a number of different details of the chair but will ultimately boil down to the ultimate question of, is it actually worth the price? So let's go over the assembly first. And let me start with my typical quick caveat. I absolutely hate putting PC chairs together. I almost always have some issue and they're typically minor, but they're really annoying. Um, but this is actually the first chair I've ever put together with literally zero issues overall. The assembly of the Valkyrie took less than 30 minutes from opening the box to having it completely together with no hiccups at all. Everything came well packed in a box that wasted absolutely no space. I'm still very surprised and impressed by how easy it actually was to put together. It also came with a really cool and foolproof method of ensuring that you understand where and how everything is supposed to be put together by requiring you to easily remove the screws from the required sockets and then replacing them after putting the components together. Um, the manual is really clear and concise, but it really wasn't even necessary for the build process considering how these screws were basically already assembled for you. Um, I really consider the assembly process an important part in choosing a chair because a really complicated build can easily turn people away. Um, and I'm really happy to say that this chair was top notch in regards to this aspect and super easy. So. Let's get to the aesthetics now that the assembly process is finished. Uh, so I, as you can see, have the white and black version of the Valkyrie gaming chair. Uh, this chair is also available in a really neat yellow, black, and red, black combination, uh, thereby fitting a large number of various aesthetic choices. As someone who is a fan of modernistic simplicity in regards to my um, aesthetic bias, the white black combination really is gorgeous. It's, it's perfect in my eyes in regards to aesthetics go. As, as regards as far as aesthetics go. Um, from the spider base to the headrest, it is an absolute beauty. Aesthetically speaking, this is absolutely top, uh, top tier in regards to gaming chairs and what you'd expect when ordering from a company as well known as DX Racer. So the chair itself has a polyurethane cover with a black steel frame, giving it a sleek and modern look while still being breathable enough that you could actually sit on it during a hot summer day without just sticking on it. Um, so it, it, it really makes you not regret going after something like a cloth or a mesh back. Um, and the black backrest has a very classically appealing racer design, um, as expected with these chairs, with high quality stitching that makes the chair a great addition to your gaming or workspace. Um, the chevron style stitching on the backrest is a really simple but elegant design that really allows the chair to adapt to almost any space while still giving it a kind of splash of style, which is really cool. Um, so simply put, this chair is the perfect combination of modernity and simplicity, and it really just screams Valkyrie when you look at it, which is really neat. Um, so let's get on to the meat of this review. Let's actually look at the comfort and ergonomics. So my little warning or caveat, I should say, is at the time of this review, I have utilized the Valkyrie for about 
two weeks. Um, and I've primarily used it as part of my gaming station. So the chair has had a bit of a break in time considering, as most people know, gaming sessions can last for several hours or more at a time. Um, so before I go on, let me again provide you with my own measurements so that we're all on the same page when discussing the ergonomic design. I am 5'9", and I'm about 155 pounds, and my typical disclaimer is as follows. All of our individual morphology, morphology has a significant part to play when choosing a chair that's right for you, and there really is no universally perfect fit for all users. It's really important to note that our resting neutral spine position is the posture that we're going to be aiming for when we adjust this chair. And if, you don't, if you're not really familiar with what it is, this is a position that we are going to be covering ad nauseum um, all throughout my channel. So the Valkyrie per DX Racer's website is recommended for slim or average body types, which as their guidelines define, um, are individuals with a BMI of less than 25. So average BMI. Um, the height limit is less than six foot one and weight limit is below 225 pounds. And this is what they recommend to actually enjoy the uh, peak effectiveness, effectiveness of the chair. And the ideal recommendations are about 5'11 and 180 pounds. Now, I'm not those measurements, as I just mentioned, but despite these uh, specific numbers that are provided by DX Racer, this chair certainly does provide enough customizability to fit a really large range of users with roughly within those guidelines. Okay. So let's start with the backrest. The backrest is full length, and this is designed to cover your entire spinal column, essentially from the bottom of the sacrum through the back of the head. It is a flat back design with curved lateral supports to help keep optimal alignment throughout. The backrest utilizes the conventional tilting mechanism in most chairs that really helps keep optimal alignment the entire time. Um, so this allows you to comfortably adjust about 135 degrees without falling over, and it is super nice it, it, it's really cool so the combination of the 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 gas hydraulic design i guess um in, with the tilting mechanism really allows every single angle to be super comfortable um the height of the chair itself can easily be adjusted from 17 inches to about 20 and a half inches um, by similarly utilizing the lever that's right under the base of the chair as most modern chairs have in regards to its comfort level, this chair is definitely on the uh, more firm end of the spectrum in regards to both its memory foam backrest and seat cushioning. And I, I mean that on, as a positive. So there are a number of considerations to make here. On one hand, this more firm feeling is great because it really does allow you to maintain your chosen uh, postural alignment without really worrying about sinking into a sacral sitting or slouched position the entire time. But the chair does give up a bit of comfort in exchange for this fantastic stability. Um, over the past two weeks, so the past two weeks I've been using this chair, there's been a bit of a weaning in period, uh, excuse me, a, a wearing in period that has occurred. Um, but it has held relatively the same shape the entire time. And it really does feel mostly the same since it came out of the box. Um, so coming from a softer back chair, which I, I have come from a softer back chair, it is a bit jarring at first, but within less than an hour, my body really did adapt to it, and I really just start to like it. So as most chairs aimed at gamers do in this price range, um, the Valkyrie also comes equipped with both a adjustable lumbar and an adjustable cervical pillow that you're free to utilize to help with both comfort and positioning. I've mentioned in previous reviews of chairs that I have a bit of a bias against these pillows um, and find them in general to be very hit or miss in regards to actually hitting the mark that combines the perfect combination of comfort and support. But like the chair itself, these pillows are much more on the firm end of things. Again, they've barely changed in feel since I've started using the chair. Um, as a matter of personal preference, I do prefer a solid back to maintain the optimal positioning, such as seen in the DX Racer. But I do often prefer a more cushioned lumbar support, and this is purely for comfort purposes. Um, I'm also not a fan of being jammed into a overly extended spine as opposed to just maintaining a neutral spine. So personally, I'm not sure how long I would continue to utilize the lumbar support for this chair, given that it really hasn't broken in during the time period that I've had it, but I'm still gonna give it a shot for a few more weeks and we'll see how it breaks in over time. Um, now, that being said, and this is huge, close, fr close friends of mine, uh, including my fiance, and who all fit within the same uh, slender physique category as my own, 
have remarked that they absolutely are fans of the more solid feeling of support and immediately fell in love with the chair as is. So this really does come down to personal preference in regards to finding the perfect middle ground. Um, if you choose not to use the pillows, the chair itself is absolutely supportive enough as is to help you maintain your chosen and desired uh, postural alignment. Now, the armrests of the chair are pretty cool. They allow a lot of customizability and they're able to be adjusted between 23 inches and 29 and a half inches in height, which is crazy. Um, and the armrests are also able to easily slide in an anterior posterior direction, so forward and back, as well as medially and laterally rotate. Um, keeping with the supportive theme of the chair, the armrests are absolutely rigid enough to support your elbow, but they also don't compress any of the more sensitive areas of your forearm. Um, likewise, the armrests are designed to be perfectly straight to maintain elbow and wrist positioning throughout. This is a very common design utilizing gamer chairs and is perfectly acceptable and valid from a structural standpoint. However, several other chairs that I have recently reviewed have come equipped with armrests with a mild medial dip so they slightly curve in. And when using those chairs, I didn't really find, there, find them to be a huge difference in regarding comfort levels. Um, but after switching to this chair for the past two weeks, it's pretty large difference. And not for better or for worse, but I can tell you my preference. Um, I do find the medial dip takes a bit of pressure off some of the more sensitive structures of your elbow, and it puts a little bit more weight into the actual soft tissue structures of your forearm, which is more capable of handling those stresses. Um, as you can see, I have very pointy forearms, and I'm not a huge fan of when things compress into them. So I do like the medial dip that some chairs provide, but like I said, these armrests are very high quality, and they really do offer an insane amount of customizability that this is just more of a, a personal note than a the judgment of the chair itself. Okay, so let's look at some other factors moving on from the chair itself. DX Racer is a brand that most people in esports, streaming, and gaming are hugely familiar with. As such, there's a certain level of quality that you should come to expect when dealing with such an influential brand, which is certainly relayed in their warranty details. Um, DX Racer offers a two-year warranty that covers anything potentially defective within a chair itself in regards to the materials, materials utilized or uh, worksman, workmanship that is actually performed on the chair. The steel frame of the chair comes with a lifetime warranty assuring its quality and as is typical of all warranties, this really doesn't cover the typical wear and tear of the chair itself, but it does make sure that you get a chair that uh, fits their um, high quality standards, which, you know, it, it makes you a little bit, it makes you feel a little bit better about ordering, ordering something that is as expensive as a, as a quality chair. So um, the other excellent detail about DX Racer is that as a larger company, they have some really cool resources that they utilize. Uh, and it really gives you a, large amount of options when you're shopping around. Their website has a super easy to read shopping guide, as well as an awesome and responsive customer service team uh, that really allows you to figure out the most suitable model for your personal use to allow you to quote, as the X Racer cites, sit better, work harder, and game longer. So if the Valkyrie isn't for you in terms of the uh, morphology that we've discussed, please check out the website because there are many, many options available. Okay, so let's get to the question at hand. Is the DX Racer Valkyrie Gaming Chair actually worth the $379 retail value? Answer, it absolutely is. Um, one thing that I will always reiterate in my reviews is the age old saying that you shouldn't cheap out on anything that separates yourself from the ground. This traditionally primarily referred to beds, and shoes. But in the age that we live in, especially since a lot of us spend more time in chairs than in our beds, computer chairs absolutely fit this bill. Price does not always dictate quality, as I'm sure everyone is aware of. However, I am absolutely pleased to say that the Valkyrie is appropriately priced for the quality received. For individuals fitting within the previously specified parameters in regards to your body morphology, you can't go wrong with the Valkyrie. Um, just assuming that you understand when ordering that you are indeed getting a chair that emphasizes firm postural support rather than a softly cushioned lounge chair. So 
While there are a small number of mild personal changes, as mentioned, that I would make to the ch- that I would make to the chair, it is absolutely of the highest quality. And from its gorgeous modern aesthetic design to its reliable ergonomic customizability, the Valkyrie absolutely passes my "is it worth it" test, and really does fit the DX Racer claim of providing quote extreme comfort for healthy gaming end quote. Thanks for watching this review and please be sure to subscribe to my channel for more in-depth reviews as well as educational videos in the future. Thanks a lot guys.